Workout Squad. My name is Nate Bauer. Welcome to the ultimate 20 minute heavy bag workout. This is session number five. It's a redo with an added voiceover, timers, more music. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. Hit that notification bell. If you want more workouts like this one, but a leveled up version, check out Nate Bauer Elevated for the BoxCon 2.0 series. All right, guys, that first combination is a 2-1-1 cover. Two, that's a 2-1-1 cover. Two, let's go. 2-1-1 cover. Two. Now, when you're working this combination as your, your first one in, I really want you to think about straight punches. Now, my double jab here could be coming back a little bit further, but you can throw it as it comes halfway back and snap it out again, but I personally prefer to bring that double jab off the cross back all the way. Now, get back to work, work that cross and snap that double jab. Now you're breathing on every boxing combination now. You're moving really well. You can throw that cross to the body. You can throw that rear punch to the body. You can snap that double jab, one to the head, one to the body. Move around the heavy bag, stay composed, and just let your hands go. Have fun with it. Cross, double jab. Cross, double jab. Cover, cross, cross. Double jab, cover, cross. And then that last cross, you are really letting your hand go. So I want your last cross off the cover to be strong, powerful, straight down the middle, body or head. Breathe and move 20 seconds. As a reminder, the timer is on the bottom right-hand side of your screen. Combination's always in the middle of your screen at the bottom. In case you're so focused you didn't see it. Four, three, two, one. The bell will take you there. Very good. And again, a reminder, Nate Bauer Elevated. You got to check these workouts, guys. I'm telling you, the reviews have been amazing, so I really appreciate you guys reaching out. Next combination is a rear hook, rear uppercut, left hook rear hook rear uppercut left hook and then we'll add a one one two later so first rear hook so that's a right hook for me and then turn that into the right uppercut and then snap that lead hook let's go now you can throw that hook to the body champ and then bring it up top to the head before you snap that hook across How's your foot positioning? Make sure that that rear hook doesn't feel too wide. So if it feels too wide, step in a little bit. That uppercut, if it's longer, it's okay. Just extend from your forearm a little bit and then step in on the hook if that uppercut's a little wider. If you're throwing the uppercut inside, snap that hook around really fast. There you go. See, I'm working inside. It's a lot faster combo. Pop, pop, pop. So it's a little bit different. Less distance, more speed. Faster contact. One minute. Focus on your breathing. Don't let it slip. What I mean is, don't forget about it. Okay? Now add in the one, one, two. Rear hook, rear uppercut, lead hook, double jab, cross, four, six, three, one, one, two, four, six, three, one, one, two. That's it. And that one, one, two is really, really clean and strong. That's it, fighter. You have 20 seconds to perfect this. Four, six, three, one, one, two. Yep. Movement, 10 seconds. 
inside or outside, medium range. Yeah, that's it. Strong footwork, strong movement. Already looking like a champion. And time, beautiful work. You're gonna step to your left hand side or to your lead side, throw a hook to the body. So it's a three to the body for me. Step back to your right and throw a cross. So step to your lead or step to your lead side, throw that hook to the body, then step back to your rear side and throw that cross, okay? So step right two, step left, three body. Step right two, step left, three body. Step right, cross, step left, hook body. Step right, cross, step left, hook body. Let's go. Now fighters, remember when you step across off that, off the cross to your left side, you gotta take your eyes, just look at the body a little bit before you throw that hook into the body. If you're trying to hit the body, look at the body to bring your eyes back up as you are stepping to your right and focus on that head shot. Now add the hook to the head when you step to your lead side. So step, hook, hook, step right, cross. Step left, hook, hook, step right, cross. Step left, body, head, step right, head. That's right, let's go. Dig into the bag, fighters. On that left hook to the body, I want you to dig into the bag. Where's your breathing at? Where's your hip rotation? Now as you, as you step to the right, duck under. So step and duck at the same time, throw the cross. Same combination, just duck into the cross. Step left, three, three, duck right, two. Step left, body, head, step right, cross. Step left, body, head, step right, rear cross. That's it. Now dig in for 30 seconds. You're just working that lateral step. Come back and throw the cross. Lateral step left, lateral step right, and then throw that right hand. That's what I'm talking about. Nice smooth rhythm on this combination. Your eyes slide across with you. Keep a strong head position. Three, two, one. Hell yeah. Round number four of workout number two is a double jab overhand right. So it's a one, one, eight. And this overhand right Again, Roy Jones Jr., he's felt a few of those. You gotta make sure you really land that crisp. Make sure your hand is nice and tight on impact. I want a strong double jab to set up that eight. A strong jab, double jab to set up that overhand right. Let's go. Put your opponent to sleep with that overhand right. Or that overhand rear. Put your opponent to sleep. You close the distance with the double jab and you finish the fight with the overhand right. We used to say that in our gym all the time. Finish the fight with the overhand right. I threw this one often. One, one, eight. Yep, that's right. Now, if you're comfortable after the eight, throw a three. One, one, eight, three. If you know the game, throw a three after. That's a lead hook. Double jab, eight, three. It doesn't have to be on screen. If you know what the lead left hook is or the lead hook, let it go. Finish the fight champ. Finish it twice with the overhand right and the left hook. Now, one, one, eight, five, two. That's right. Double jab, overhand right. Lead uppercut, cross. Now, work that combination for 30 seconds. How's that feeling? 
get that right shoulder blade or that rear overhand right shoulder blade, keep it down, and then punch through the heavy bag on that angle coming from that overhand right. Four, three, two, one, another one done. Now freestyle outside. When you are used to boxing and that visualization, the fight scenarios, these freestyles should be the funnest part of your boxing sessions because it just allows you to do what you want to do and allows you to set the pace, the tone, the rhythm, everything. So all you have to do is think about range. Where is the heavy bag according to your range? That's your outside piece. Go. Your elbow's not locked out when you hit. It's close. Full range, freestyle, whatever the hell you want. But make it crisp, sharp, and look really good. Change your levels, change your angles, and have fun with it. Breathe. Set up those combos with your jabs, inside, outside. When you throw your jab, you can change, as you pull it back, you can change that into a hook. You can change your rear cross into an uppercut or a rear hook. You can fake to the head, go to the body. You can fake to the body, go to the head. You feel me? One minute. Uppercuts, movement. Really comfortable with this freestyle. Really smooth, really composed. Again, look at your target, work with this. If the heavy bag is swinging, work with it. Change your angles with it. Catch it when it comes back in. Dig into it with the hook. Stop it with the cross. 10 seconds, keep putting in that work, champions. You gotta go right to the end. Three. Two, one, time. Another fun round coming up. Power shot, four speed shots. So you want to be really precise with your power shots. Incorporate your hips, torso, core, that whip effect with your hands, and then relax a little bit and think more core to get your hands moving with hand speed. So you want to throw two Power shots, whatever you want. It could be two double jabs that are power. It could be two right hands that are power. It could be a two, three that are power. Then throw four speed shots. Go. Two power shots. Four speed. Two power. Four speed. And by, by four, I mean four punches. Two power. Four power speed shots. Two power shots. Four fast hands. Keep working it. One minute, 30 seconds. If you have to stop and reset, that's okay. If you just step back, shake your hands out, shake your arms out, so that your punches feel faster, that's a very common practice in boxing. People step back, shake their arms, shake their shoulders, Take a breath and then go back to war. So if you need to do that, do that. If not, get back at it. Forty seconds. I want you to tear the heavy bag off with those power shots. So you start to get lazy for a second, right? You let yourself get sleepy for a second? Don't do that. Come on. Power means power. Speed means speed. Just like that.
Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Yep. Round number seven. Now, eliminate the power shots and literally just think about fast hands, punches, and bunches. So it could be a one, two, pop, pop. One, two, three, two, pop, 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 pop. And then you gotta reset and get back at it. So just think of those tempos in your head. All right, I'm working the double jab, right hand, pop, pop, pop. All right, I wanna work the two, three, two. And you gotta think about just throwing your hands and slipping and moving, punches and bunches, inside. Go. You could be throwing four three-punch combinations in a short period of time, then change your angle. Could be four single punches in a short period of time with broken tempo, change your angle. Change your levels. You need to work inside though. You need to block, you need to work, you need to change angles, you need to step up. When you step in, you need to work around that heavy bang. You control the heavy bag at all times. That's your opponent, so make sure you take the reins and you control it. That's what I want to see. I want to feel that energy shift. I want to feel the fast hand inside freestyle. What's your tempo is like? One minute. When you feel the sound or hear the sound of your punches slowing down, it's because your punches are slowing down. Not rocket science. So when you feel that, find a way to relax a little, use your core more, change your position, and then fire again with faster hands. Be deliberate and smooth. And compose, that's right. 30 seconds. Are you gonna let me win this fight, take it away from you with faster hands? I don't think you want that. So show me your hand speeds faster than mine right now. Because I'm still good. How good are you? 20 seconds. I'm going to give you an opportunity to work faster than me. Take that opportunity for 10 seconds. Faster hands. 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, good work. We have one round to go. Here's what you're doing. You're gonna throw 10 hooks to the head and then 10 hooks to the body. Slight pause in between head to body. Eight hooks to the head, eight hooks body, six hooks head, six hook body. Go all the way down to four, then repeat. Forget the two. Just go 10, eight, six, four. 10, eight, six, four. Ted body, go. 10 hooks body. But this is as hard as you can. Rest. 10 hooks to the head. Ready. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. 10 hooks to the body. Bring your foot underneath the heavy bag. Your lead foot underneath the bag. Ready? Eight hooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hooks to the body. You're going up top. Eight hooks to the head. Bring your foot just outside the heavy bag. Get ready. Hard as you can. Eight hooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Six hooks to the body. Six hooks. To the body ready foot underneath the heavy bag go one two three four five six six hooks up top bring your foot just outside the heavy bag are you ready go one two three four five six four hooks to the body Let's go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I'm like that, guys. Six hooks to the head. Two, three, four, five, six. And time. Good workout, guys. You make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notifications bell once you get those gloves off. And of course, check out Napar Elevated for Elevated BoxCon Hit. BoxCon 2.0. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you for the next workout.